So welcome back, friends. Have you seen these? These are not my Michael Jackson Thriller gloves. These are level five cut-proof gloves, but can they protect a cut from an ax? These gloves are really bizarre, and I really I don't, I don't know what makes them, makes them uh, to work so well. But when I received them, I thought that they were gonna be some sort of a metal fiber in there, um, you know, like maybe like a medieval chain mail type of thing, but they're not that at all. I got a magnet on here and there, there's something else in there. I don't know what it is. These, according to the advert, are level five, which was, according to them, the highest level of protection, and they claim that they are entirely cut proof. <laughs> I can't help but thinking that uh, Ona in the gang from the novel Upton Sinclair's novel The Jungle, if you haven't read it, it's a must read, uh, probably would have really liked to have had a pair of gloves like these back in the, the meat packing days, but interesting, interesting thing. So I thought we'd do a little fun test today and we'll start, we'll start escalating <laughs> and see how tough these, these things are. We'll start with a knife. Uh, we'll try some big industrial shears. I wonder how they do on a small saw, and then we'll finish off with the ax test and see if we can chop them without my hands in them. Thank you very much. All right, so let's, let's take one off. I, I don't have that much faith in them, to be honest with you, and see if we can, with all my strength, lop off a finger <laughs> with this uh, Benchmade. Crazy stuff what man can devise. I find this hard to believe that I can't, with all my pressure, lop off a finger of these, these gloves. Well, there you go. <laughs> that's, that's so lame. I was expecting so much more. I, I was expecting a challenge there. But I, that doesn't work at all, <laughs> actually. <laughs> so uh, I'm assuming that uh, you want, or having some flexibility in them, you know, with the human flesh is going to be, I'm not about to cut <laughs> them. My, my hand with those things on there. Okay, I have to say that uh, that is not at all very cut proof. All right, so let's switch, <laughs> switch, switch over to the shears. All right, let's see, can we, no, that is offering certainly a bit more of a challenge there. I can't, uh, okay, so I said, well, no, I can't. I cannot cut those with the shears. I got a little bit of a abrasion right there, but, uh, no, I can't. You know, if I could, maybe if I could pull them tight a little bit. Let's try that. Pull a little trip pressure on there. Oh. No, I'd say you're safe. If you're using your big upholstery shears, you can uh, probably not lose any sleep at night. Uh, but if you're using a Benchmade, beware. Certainly, be beware of that. Okay, so um, let's see. Can you can you let's stretch it over here? Can you saw? Will a saw tear it? I would imagine the saw is gonna, gonna really tear this up. It's gonna snag. Yeah, if I pull some tension on there, let's see. Can you see that? Pull some. Let's see if it. Uh, maybe we'll wrap it around there a little bit tighter there. Okay, sorry, I was out of frame there. Let's take a look. Let's see how how well it does with the saw. So the saw we'll be using here is the. Uh, it's actually the pretty nice Baco Laplander. No silky, but uh, it doesn't reflect the silky price either. A pretty good saw. Not everything they think is bad. Okay, so we are sawing, and I'd have to say that's pretty durable stuff. That's really amazing, isn't it? Whatever that weave is, I'd like to know what's in that to make it so tough. Man, I wouldn't think I couldn't think of a fabric alive that could withstand a uh, sawtooth like that with that much pressure on it. Uh, well, you can eventually get starting to break down. You can eventually get through it, but oh, look at that! Another character mark on the on my favorite axe. That's the new handle too. Okay, well, I, I would say that it is not sawproof, but you're going to take some work to get through it. It's certainly not bench made proof. I can't really believe that. Is that was that really that easy to cut through? Let's see. Let's do that again. Hmm. Well, we're gonna have a nice set of fishing gloves here before we're done with that. All right, let's see how it stands, how it stands up to the ax blade. If I'm gonna be completely honest, I, I do not have a whole lot of faith in this right here. Uh, so what we have here is we've got the Grand Forest Brook Small Forest Ax 
viciously sharp, very, very sharp. And we're going to do a test and we're going to find out here if it is indeed cut proof. It is not. No surprise there. Try one more time, a little bit harder to see what happens. Well, you know, I mean, it, it does, it's somewhat resistant, but it's not cut proof. Can we cut through the handle all the way here with a few chops? Let's see. One, two, three. Yep, definitely not ax proof, but it's tough. Whatever that stuff is, it is very tough. You can't hardly really tear it. I don't know what that is at Kevlar. I mean, that is so tough, that stuff. Very interesting. Okay, let's, let's go to our conclusion. So what's my conclusion of the level five cut proof glove? Well, I think we, we definitely pushed it outside of its design specification. Uh, however, I think what it's intended for, of course, is just this type of cutting. You know, I mean, if I take the glove here and I go across here and this knife is razor, razor sharp, it's going to protect me. So if I'm, I don't know, cutting meat, maybe I'm processing a deer or an elk, you know, something like this, it's kind of definitely seems like it protects you. Uh, from any sort of a cut. But when you get really start pushing pressure down there and put it against a hard surface, you know, there's no such thing as a miracle. Uh, and I, I, I knew that I probably, I knew exactly what these things were going to be, but I thought it was kind of an interesting test. Uh, another thing that they do not test against is, is any sort of a penetration or poking. The fibers do spread and they'll go right through there. But when you, the knife's edge is held up, is distributed over all of the fibers, uh, then it seems to offer plenty of cut protection, but it is very disconcerting. I'll tell you, just those pictures of grabbing a knife like that are, uh, are bad. Might be pretty good in a medieval, would it work on a sword fight? You know, those guys are catching the sword. I don't know. I don't know. I guess it'd be better than nothing, but, uh, that's it. That's my review of the level five, uh, cut proof gloves. And, uh, we'll see you guys on the next video.